Hey guys, it's Quirk Cheryl here, back with another Ember Nights video. In this video, I'm doing a video that somebody requested, which is a non-staff build using skills slash wisdom or skill damage build. So with that being said, I'm going to be using the Void Mantle, and the Ember Tree setup that I'm going with is Earned Vitality, Earned Power, Pocket Change, Confidence, Guardian Angel, Relic Dice, Deep Knowledge, to start at least, you'll see why in a second, Refinery, Expansion, and Bonus Relic. So, back on the Deep Knowledge front, I'm taking Deep Knowledge so I can pick up Judgment in the Nexus and then get a bonus charge for the rest of the run. And then I will turn it off and put it to Expertise. Since we're doing a skill build, we want as much skill damage as possible. So I'm also taking Helix Sign, except I'm going to start with Supreme Ambition, Absolute Ambition, and then pick up Helix Sign. Why? I don't know. It's just the order that fits the best in my head for uh, the order of relics in the inventory. I don't know, it's just something that I gotta do. And then the weapon mods that I'll be using is 233, which is Orb Weaver, Dark Spell Darkening, and Grim Duality. And then obviously the ultimate mod Void Field because it's super cool and a gamble, which is just, you know, 5% chance when you're casting your Dark Spell to insta-kill everything. And then I'll be doing this on Doom 15, just because I like Doom 15. So we're going with Haste 4, Onslaught 4, one Malice, one Pantheon, and five Blitz. Now let's get right into this. All right, so the plan is to not get hit and to get as many kills with the Judgment skill as possible to scale up my skill damage as much as possible. Damn, I got hit there. That's big ooh. Alright. So now, I'm going to just line this up. Kill all of them. Yeah, something like that. Now, we don't need any skills. Honestly, both of these are really bad. Only skill we really need is the judgment skill because it's the only thing that's going to be dealing enough damage to actually kill, or generally speaking. Um, none of these, we're gonna roll. Uh, we're gonna roll again. General Saber's not bad, except we have 0% crit. So I'm gonna go with Chronograph, and then... Maybe we take Generals and try to find some crit, I guess? We take wisdom for sure. We need them to be grouped up, and right now they're not grouped up. Yeah, that's just gonna kill. That's okay. The one downside with not using staff for a skill build is just the refresh is just so bad. So, Emberfire is pretty good. Wait, I didn't think Emberfire was going to be good. It was actually pretty damn good. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not sure what hit him, but okay. This is very unfortunate. I'm getting hit constantly, so absolute ambition is just doing nothing. This is very sad. Alright, onto mini boss. We don't have a judgment skill charge, which is very unfortunate because that's just all of my high damage pretty much. Emberfire's doing a hundred damage. Ah. Wow. 
So another chronograph, which I think I have to take, and I'll roll once. Damn. I mean, still zero percent crit, but damn. Maybe I should roll once more. Nah, I shouldn't. Now the main reason why I chose Void Mental was because I can use the ultimate skill, or ultimate, the uh, the dark spell, that's what they're called, the dark spells to deal a lot of damage as well, and that scales with skill damage. So yeah, that was basically the main reason why I chose Void Mantle. Um, all the other weapons don't scale with skill damage whatsoever, so it would have just been the uh, skill I was using that scales, which I, I obviously don't want. Um, yeah, basically just took the best, best character, best class, to deal as much damage as possible. Ooh, Blast Bomb is crazy. It has a higher refresh, but it has such good AoE. Like, crazy AoE. Like, look at this. Boom. Also, already doing like a hundred damage. Uh, I just find really uh, high damage skills to be really fun to use. You know, to like one tap them. Boom shell, nah, we got roll. Search pendant is fine, it's just more skill damage. Okay, well, we do not have skill charges going into this fight, which isn't really an issue because I just hit once on Strixa and then boom, two skill charges. Um, I don't want to kill them right now. I need to. Oh, that might have been bad. Yes, there we go. Okay. We're just gonna use the dark spell. Screw it. Oh, okay, it just did not hit the boss. I definitely would have skilled harder if I threw on Horde, but I just feel like Void Mantle's really slow. I don't want this video to be forever long, so I decided not to throw on Horde. Also, as much as I want to go skill damage, I think crit is actually the better option here. Yeah, like 450 damage on a crit. That's kind of crazy. Also, I'm definitely taking Decayed Scepter. Decayed Scepter allows me to get Onyx Raven. Because it's a status ailment, right? Poison is status ailment. So, it basically allows me to get good refresh. On a build that really needs refresh. I'm going health because I don't want to deal more damage to enemies because I want them to uh, not die if I'm going to use a skill on them or if I'm charging up my skills I don't want them to die I'll be able to actually charge up the skill nice just grabbing all the gold before the shop because I don't have a lot of gold and I'd like to 
I have the storm is really good here, but since we're supposed to be doing a skill damage slash skill build, we're gonna take barrier pendant. And then we're just gonna leave. It's gotta be crit out of this. Ooh, a relic? Ooh, powered bangle. It's not terrible. Could be worse for sure. That's a one blast bomb chart. Oh, we got this. In fact, I'm actually just gonna kite around and get a bunch of uh, snowballs around me. Oh, well, kinda forgot about that. Over here, over here. Okay, no, they're just gonna do that, it's fine. There we go. Okay. I was trying to get some kills there with uh skills, but didn't work out too well. Also, mimic. Okay. The chest is top right. But Oh, what? I was wrong? Oh, no. Well, that was a throw. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Alright, well, whatever. I made that room that much faster. <laughs> Move speed, yeah, might as well get to the move speed route, whatever. If it's not skill damage slash crit, it's just kind of whatever. Wow, that was so beautiful. Bro, bro dodged it? Come on. the last guy. Oh. Man, the refresh is just so bad. Like, this build works so well if you can get some refresh. And at the moment, I just don't have refresh. Last one didn't uh, explode on impact. It's very unfortunate. We need to swarm the wall, but I. Ah, oh my god. The decoy thing is actually kind of throwing. But yes, more enemies spawn. We'll do that, and then we'll do this. There we go. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Sort of. Kind of. A little bit. Except we only have one judgment charge right now.
definitely could have one-cycled if I had any skill charges. By any, I mean a second. If that didn't even kill, what the hell? Okay, more crit. That's fine. Even more crit. Here you go, wisdom. That's all we need. That's literally all we need. Um, yeah, wisdom. That's it. That's, that's it. That's all we need. Just wisdom. Just get us as many skill charges of judgment as possible, and then we're good to go. I'm just gonna kill this guy. Not really. Not wasting a single skill on that guy. Man, I don't want to take Empowered Bangle, but I probably should. No, I'm not. Screw it. We, we don't. We roll all the way down. We hit nothing, but we could take Glacier Necklace. That'll give us more damage. Stat selector. Need to uh, get all of them together now. Just do something like that. Something like that. There we go. There. Nice. I guess we have skill damage since it's getting doubled. To how much crit? 24% crit and 500% skill damage. Not bad. Not bad at all. build is real slow on Void Mantle, but it shouldn't be. It just is. Mostly because we just don't have refresh. If we get any sort of refresh, it'll be fine. Like, I'm tempted to take Sturts, but I already have four charges. Or a max of four charges, so I don't need it. But I need to roll down for something that's actually good. Also, wow, that's unfortunate. I wish. Really wish. Alright, there's... I can't buy it if I really can, I don't think. If you don't know, I'm looking for Onyx Raven. Onyx Raven is the, one of the best relics in the game for skill builds because when you defeat an enemy that's afflicted, afflicted by a status ailment, um, you refresh three, which is a lot, and it makes skill builds really good. But lightning isn't a status ailment, so you need to find like Decayed Scepter or something where it's good. And I found the Decayed Scepter, but now I just need Onyx to actually get the refresh. Or the other thing I can do instead would be get a bunch of overcharged gauntlets, which I've had options for previously, but I couldn't get them. I didn't have enough to buy them from shop. Or there's just a better option in the Relic Selector. I need him to not dash. Yeah, there you go.
wanted to make sure I had an extra charge for this minute thing, because I'm just gonna do the mini game. Not throw in the chest shuffle again. So I only have to kill 12 Mimics, which is not bad at all. Seven are already dead. Oh, and that's the last bit. 156 damage on that Meteor. That's crazy. take empowered as good as vital is I just don't care for it skill damage. We're at 605% skill damage. Solid. Man, if only I had some refresh. I'd be killing everything. We just gotta get some refresh, get like two charges of judgment, and then we just go perfect, perfect, and that should be the entire fight done. Should being the keyword. Okay, well, we got the two charges, so. Oh, it only took one. Never mind. Mark Brit is always good here. Seven hundred damage on a crit. Hey, that's actually crazy. Level point seven K. Holy. We're gonna take bone plate. Need some sort of armor. Also wisdom. More wisdom. Okay, come this way. But to that reach? Not oh, didn't reach them. Ooh, here's a big bomb though. Ah uh, never mind, it wasn't really that big. Ah, uh, he dashed up away. Come on. That's forty percent skill damage though. It's big. Okay, that's some kills. Just do this. That's some more. I'm just gonna do this. I didn't cancel out fast enough. Oof. Surge pendant. I mean as good as surge pendant can be, it's just not amazing. Because obviously, if they're just getting one tapped anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm gonna roll once. Damn. I really need Onyx. I'm not rolling again. Rolling again, just throwing. Bang. Alright. 
Damn it. Man, I hate wasting skills on a single enemy. It just feels so bad. I want this guy to teleport. Teleport, yes. Oh, everybody else left the area. God damn it. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Yeah, let him die. Not use the skill on him. It's not worth it. You want skill damage or more crit? I feel like more crit. Always crit. Crit is just always gonna be better. Because it increases the damage so much. Anyways, one judgment cast. And mini boss is dead. Refinement shop? Ah. I don't think there's anything I want to refine. Is there even anything here that I want? And I guess chronograph I can always do. That's always a good one. But it's also so expensive. And I want to be able to buy... Well, that's if I get another shop, though. Ah, uh, screw it. No. Screw it. Ah. Uh, only one. It'll knock it down to eight. Refresh. No, it's not worth. It's not worth. I do think going to Healing Fountain to get all my skill charges back is worth it though. And actually heal a little bit. So let's do something like that. Yeah, miss the second one though. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna do that. Then let's try to get back some of my charges. Okay. You can get back all of them, but some. Okay, that happens. I just want a bunch of them together. Okay. It's okay. Good for that. It's then... Last bomb killed nothing. Cool. It was a wonderful waste of skill surge. At least that hit one. I need to get my judgment cast back. Oh no. No judgment cast for uh, boss fights. Well, it looks like I'm gonna be tapping my orbs for my normal attacks for a little bit. Actually, let's keep doing it until I get two charges. Yes. Boom. And. Oh, ah. Forgot that there's, you know. Designated phases. I thought I could get both of the uh, judgment casts off fast enough, but I could not. Okay, just nobody walked into that nade. Well, by nade I meant bomb last time. But yeah, how unfortunate. Okay, this guy needs to die. Thank you. There we go. That fight was way too long. That fight shouldn't have been this long. I was just poor positioning, poor use of skills. But we did get rewarded with skill damage, which is nice. Our crit, up to 40%, not bad at all. You just need overcharged gauntlets or onyx. You get either of those, we're gonna be good. You know, we'll go to the damage route, just because. 
But we don't actually need anything out of this. Want both of them together. Where's the other one at? Oh, it's freaking the Herald variant. Yeah, that needs to be near Herald. Okay, it just didn't hit. That's cool. Oops. Proc the dark spell. Might as well. Whatever it is, what it is. Just kill it. We're gonna skip all of these gems altogether. And go into the skill gem route. Can't kill this wave. There's, wow, just dash back into that. <laughs> it's another wave. Oh. Ah, uh, champions. Woo. That's unfortunate. Did we get scammed with gems or not? We did not. Weird. Sometimes when you skip gems, the next room becomes um, like scammed kind of thing, where you just don't get the bonus gems. But I don't know what causes that. I really don't. I've only ever seen it happen in co-op, I'm pretty sure. Also, we're going Relic Selector here. Blast mode will do it. Wizard's Fleece is actually kinda good. That's 30, that's like 90% skill damage. Or just another chrono. Considering there's a shop, I think it's Wizard's Fleece. So we're gonna go shop now. Wow, a spark ring. Uh it's 275. No, screw it. We're gonna do it. We're not gonna get an onyx or anything, but it's okay, I guess. We just take this as well. Up to 904% skill damage. And uh, Judgment is now going to absolutely obliterate everything. You just want to get these enemies fairly close to each other. So we can use one Judgment. Cast. Yep, there we go. Except we didn't actually see how much damage it did. Boom. Okay. Judgment cast. Yep, 1.27k on a crit. Yes, that's a crit, but Jesus. That's per bolt as well. Point zero
Can't please die. Like, holy. I don't know, all the damage is just so low, but I want to keep my skill charges for the next room. Yeah, we're gonna go. Actually, I don't. Ah. I need health. And I know the best way of getting health would be going to Healing Fountain. It's just gonna give me the most health out of it. 60, actually, it's not much more. Yikes. Not terrible. But you get some skill charges back. Which is good. Okay. <laughs> Those people are dead. Uh, I think it's just this one guy left. And if it is, I want to farm as many skill charges off them as possible. Which I got one. So... No, we're just, we're just going to fight Praxis. I think one Judgment cast can do a lot of damage. Possibly enough to kill, but kind of doubtful, too. Oh, we'll see. like 3k damage. Definitely not bad at all. Yeah, that's first phase done. Second phase is dodge phase. We can do this. Um, maybe kind of want to see if there is anywhere that the auto orbs might like target Praxis or something. Oh, that's weird. Wait, it kind of does. Wait, they kind of... They're targeting something. I'm taking way too much damage. So I wanted to know what they were targeting. Weird. Alright, well, let's uh, do the last phase. This is all that's between me and this challenge of non-staff skill slash wisdom build. All I need is like, what, two skill charges? One blast bomb now? Oh, no, oh, we went to the last phase, which is the most annoying phase ever. I find it really weird that my orbs just go off into the distance. And you know they have limited range if they're not targeting something. Alright, that's it. What? It missed? Yeah, there we go. Not even close, baby. I do not necessarily suggest going this build, but... If you want to, do it, because I'm not going to stop you. It's a it's a decent build, as in, you know, it has high damage on skills, and also dark spells, which I didn't use too, too much, but dark spells are very strong with this build as well. Just, it's not the best build for Void Mantle either, and it feels very rough when you're dealing, like, no damage on your normal attacks. Anyways, we ended with a time of... 20 something yeah 23 minutes and 54 seconds just under 24 minutes um didn't go terribly we did get up to 947 percent skill damage which is kind of crazy we gained 570 percent roughly just from supreme and absolute ambition 
and the rest is basically just from stats, which is kind of crazy. Like almost a thousand percent skill damage. That is high. Um, wow, that's surprising. We didn't even get like a good build. Like you need Onyx Raven in here, and the Kid Scepter with Onyx Raven that allows you to you know get the refresh, which makes the build go even stronger because you don't have to waste your time just killing normal enemies with normal weapon attacks. Wizard's Fleece could have also went crazy earlier on. Not bad though. I do like the build. The build works. It's not too strong, not too weak. Just kind of a good mix of both. Definitely struggles at times, but it also excels in boss fights and mini bosses, or just high unit or high health single target damage. Uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. If you have, please leave a like on the video. If you have any other comments, suggestions, challenges, I don't know, anything, throw them in the comments. I read every single comment, and I'll get back to you guys as soon as possible. And if you want to see more content like this, just subscribe to my channel so you never miss another video from me. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.